Hey guys, George of the Ski Monster, and today we're going to talk about how to choose a pair of Alpine ski bindings. If you're shopping for a pair of bindings for the resort, chances are you're looking at one of these five. The Tyrolia Attack, the Solomon Armada or Atomic Strive, all of them the same, just different branding, the Marker Squire, the Marker Griffin, or the Look Pivot. Now before we dive into it, let's talk about what a ski binding's job is. It's the interface between ski and boot. Its job is to transmit energy as efficiently as possible while keeping you safe. Keep in when you're supposed to be. If you really mess up, it should kick you out so you don't get hurt. Now, the two most popular bindings here in the US are the Marker Griffin and the Marker Squire. Reason being, they're the first binding manufacturer to address skis getting wider. When skis started to get wider in the waist than 76 millimeters, that's where these guys stepped in to make skis more responsive edge to edge. And they really own that space for quite a long time. They had awesome colors, great names, and the binding performed extremely well. So how did Marker design a new binding that addressed skis getting wider? A lot of that has to do with the topies. And the spring goes sideways from edge to edge instead of from tip to tail, making the binding more torsionally rigid as it's going on a wider platform, making the binding feel even stronger edge to edge. The other piece of the markers that make you feel more connected to the ski has to do with the heel piece. And in the heel piece, the spring is going down onto your boot, putting all of this pressure here, keeping your heel locked in, in place, which is different in the strive and in the attack where the spring is in the lower part of the housing. Now the benefit of the spring being in the lower part of the housing in the attack and in the strive is there honestly quite a bit easier to click into than in the marker squire, griffin, or even in the look. So for any skier that's lighter weight or is skiing in soft snow, trees, maybe doing some hike to stuff, or you're trying to progress and maybe your ski falls off some soft snow, if you're in an attack or in a strive, this is gonna be easy to click back into and you're probably not gonna to have to ask a friend for help. The Squire is easier than the Griffin just because there's a little less spring there and it's an easier heel piece to move up. The Griffin is gonna be the most difficult of the bunch. Now the Look Pivot has an absolute cult following, especially amongst freestyle skiers. And that's due to how much elastic travel that the binding has in the heel. Now, all of these bindings have elastic travel in the heel piece and in the toe piece. The look pivot just has more. And the reason that's more important for freestyle skiers, skiing in bumps, is because of how much force they're putting sideways on their skis doing a bump line. And that's literally how this moves. And because they're putting so much stress there, the likelihood of them staying in their bindings and being able to complete their run in a pivot is higher. Now, the other side of things that doesn't get talked about as much in bindings is, yes, this does have elastic travel, but this binding has less rebound. And if I'm moving this binding here, there's less shoving this binding back to neutral than in the Griffin, Squire, Strive, or Attack. These bindings do a better job of keeping you centered on your skis, more balanced, which in turn is gonna make it easier for you to drive your skis and feel more efficient out there. Now, while we just talked about some of the subtle differences between these bindings, how are you gonna pick one? If you're looking for bindings that are gonna feel more powerful, solid, and honestly sound really pretty good when you click into them, a marker, Griffin or Squire is gonna be awesome. If you're less than 150 pounds, consider a Squire. If you're north of that, go with a Griffin. Now, if you're a little more concerned about ease of clicking into uh, binding, maybe that's because of age, strength, or you ski a lot of soft snow trees, like we mentioned earlier, considering a strive or a pivot is a great option. Both of these are easier to click into because the spring is in the lower part of the housing, so you don't have to move that whole spring up like you do in these three bindings. Now, between these two, the strive does feel a little more responsive edge to edge than the attack. Um, skiing them uh, separately, you know, one run on the attack, one run on the strive, I couldn't tell you the difference, but when I put Enforce 94s on both feet, different bindings, that's when I could really tell the difference between the two. And this 
strive, I'd edge out and just feeling a little more responsive edge to edge. Now, if you're skiing more in the park, bumps, freestyle skiing, where you're really torquing on the binding much more, go with a pivot. You're gonna stay clicked in and you're gonna have less pre-release issues. All of these bindings are safe. All of them are great options. Just the subtle differences between them are going to dictate what you go with. A Little bit harder to click into, a little bit easier to click into, great for a park skier. If you have any other questions, give us a call, book an appointment in Boston, or hit us up on live chat or text message. Thank <laughs> you.